Hey guys, it's Thomas Bird with Tabletop Life. I'm here to share more updates on the National Tabletop League. The first U.S. event on the NTL calendar, ATC, is now in the books. Happening over the March 1st through the third weekend, 160 players competed on 28-man teams for glory and the coveted second qualifying spot on the NTL finals. When the NTL was just getting started off the ground, we reached out to our longtime friends who run the, the American Team Championships, ATC, Shane and Chris, we pitched them the idea of creating a league focused on eight-man team formats, and they were immediately bought in. They were the first to join the league, and the 8TC event was born. JD with Away Games was there in force, providing not uh, the terrain, the mats, the dice trays, and game clocks for each table, as well as providing judging and refereeing for the event. So if you're interested in having him come out and support your event, reach out to JD at Away Games. He's fantastic. If you uh, are interested in footage from the event, Trevi from Tactical Tortoise provided uh, streaming coverage. I know he's got a lot of great videos up on his channel. Uh, hit up his YouTube and go watch uh, event footage. I know some of our games were streamed there live, so you'll be able to see that. Um, also, of course, our big special thanks has to go out to our sponsor, the Army Painter. You know, they provided not only prizing for best painted, but also direct support for streaming, pairing mats, all the behind scenes stuff here at the NTO to help make that event happen. So big shout out to the Army Painter. We couldn't do all the things that we're doing without their support. And of course, for all the players that attended, you know, we're not having an event if there's no player showing up. I hope you guys had as much fun as we did. So big thank you to you guys and everyone else who helped support and make that event happen. It was a big success. We're excited about what the NTO has uh, for the future and, you know, team play, all the things that go with that. So now, before we dive into the results, one more thing. It should be noted that while I help create and continue to support the National Tabletop League at heart, I'm an avid player and competitor. And since we don't run the actual events ourselves, um, that's all run by tournament organizers that are independent from us. We just kind of manage the league itself. That lets me join teams and create you know, teams and play on, on with my friends and, and have all the fun just like the rest of you guys, right? So at ATC this year, uh, I was able to get together not just my team, but also four other total teams. So three other teams plus our team, four teams uh, wearing the Pro Tabletop shirt. So happy to have those guys able to attend. Super excited. A lot of people are excited about teams around here. So I hope you guys, if you haven't been able to like watch the footage or attend the events yourselves, you're as excited as we are to go attend and, and play in these events. I know we and the guys here had a great time. So. The Pro Tabletop crew was out there for us. It was great to see everyone wearing the jerseys. So a uh, big shout out to those guys for coming out. But all right, so let's jump into the, the winners. So congratulations goes to first place, Pro Tabletop, for going undefeated 4-0-1 and one for the first place finish. They had one draw in there, um, so technically still undefeated. They, uh, they still had enough uh, wins and, and standings from the previous rounds to let that draw propel them up to first. So congratulations to those guys. They've automatically qualified for the National Tabletop League Finals in 2025. So super exciting there. Other teams that finished in the top five included United Midwest Project, a number three finished Midwest Monstars. Monstars. Uh, we played those guys in the final round, so they were our draw. So that was a great team. I was on the, the team that won, so um, it, was, it was fun to play most of these guys. Uh, number four was Pro Tabletop Queens Guard. It's one of our guys' teams, and uh, Cornfield Carnage finished fifth. Best sports and best team painted go to Pro Tabletop RVA. So congratulations to those guys. And then uh, yeah, so so winning first, I was on the winning team, so I was able to pick up this sweet sweet trophy from ATC first place. So fantastic! Those guys make some great trophies. I talked to Shane and the crew. He said they're talking about potentially doing trophies for other events so if you're interested in some trophies and looking for a place to get them you should reach out to those guys um, they make some great stuff all right so the national tabletop league website if you uh have been paying attention um, we do have a second system for the elos that's all been updated based on your rankings your standing so every game you play you're going to accrue some elos so we've updated the website to show the league standings with the two events in the books 
the season's kicking off strong. Go check out those ELO results. Every every game played in the league by your team generates a team ELO that it gets updated for the league standings. Uh, remember, winning an event uh, gets you a ticket into the or a qualifier spot into the NTL finals, but also the top ranked teams uh, at the end of the season with the league standings. So your ELO score. So even if you don't win an event, your ELO score can potentially propel you into the finals. So you want to keep playing and getting some ELOs. Keep an eye. I'm very excited to see how the ELOs uh, move up and down as the league and the season progresses. Um, if you're not familiar with how the finals work for the NTL, uh, let me take a second to walk you through that. Uh, I'm pretty excited about this format, something new that we're trying. Season one of the NTL calendar stretches through July 2025 with events across the country. Uh, this extended season gives players ample opportunity to play teammates, uh, to gather teammates, and to compete in events near them. With every event win, a team qualifies, uh, receives a qualifying spot. So if you've already won an event, like so if we go to another event and we win again, we can't win multiple spots. We only have one spot for our team. But we will, it will go to the next event event winner. So if second place that has not won an event, they would now get the qualifying spot. So every event you go to, there's always going to be a chance to win a qualifying spot, even if there are some really high ranked teams that may have already won. There's always a reason to go play in an event. And like I said, you also can get some ELO scores that at, the, at the end of the season will rank you up. So at once the season's concluded and all the qualifiers are awarded, we'll kick off season two. But Here's where we have the twist, right? So we set up the finals to happen at the same time as the season two opener. Effectively, we'll have two tournaments in one. A tournament to determine the champions of season one and a tournament to determine the first qualifier for NTL season two. But since all the top finishers from season one will be playing and competing in the finals, that leaves the door wide open for all the non-finals teams to grab a qualifying spot in season two. So basically we're all going to the same tournament some will be playing in the finals, and some will be playing in the qualifying open, just, just like you kind of originally would plan to. And if you're kind of that team that just didn't quite make it, or maybe you're like, hey, there's just too many good teams, there's no way I have a chance, that first opening event is going to be your best shot to like grab a spot in the finals. Because again, remember, if you win, you're in. And that event, all the top dogs from Season 1 are going to be competing in their own mini-tournament. And uh, you're not going to be in the same pool as those guys. So you have a bit better chance to win if all those players are not competing against you. So definitely excited about that format. We want to have a big show. I don't want to have a big splash. They'll have a special format for the finals. And, uh, you know, that big atmosphere of the championships with the, with the Super Bowl rings for the champions, all the things that we kind of go, we're going to put into the finals. We want everyone to experience that. So I think it's going to be a good time. Excited about that. Hopefully you guys are excited about that too and looking at the calendar and seeing what events are near you that you can go out and play and potentially get a spot for yourselves. Um, one thing to point out, I did get this question. Qualifying for the NTL finals does not mean I, you get a free ticket. So just because we just won this event, um, when the finals comes around, our team will still have to buy a ticket. So it's just a placeholder spot. You've, you've qualified, you've got invited to the finals, you still have to pay for your ticket just like everybody else. So once we get down to the end, if teams can't make it, there'll be some shuffling. So there's lots of chances potentially to make it in the finals. But hopefully if you've gone and won your ticket to the finals, that's something you're going to want to go to. It'll be all announced ahead of time. So you just have some time to plan, right? So we'll, we'll make sure that all those announcements are out. But that's it. That's all the stuff about the finals. Let's take a quick look at the the uh, upcoming events. So you just get that in there and then we'll we'll... we'll call it quits for this video so the next event's coming up battle for salvation that's an end of april uh in new york can hammer is in may in ottawa ontario breath weapon gaming also has an ottawa ontario event uh, that's in june natc the the previously known atc is now called the national or north american team championships i'm sorry uh, that's in July. So they're going to be having both five-man and eight-man events. So the eight-man event would be a uh, part of the league. You would get the ELO. You would get the standings. You would compete for the finals. The five-man would just be the old, normal, regular event. So there's options for both the old and the new. So if you're interested in seeing what eights are, if you want to go just play fives because eights, you may not have all the players that you want to compete in that. doesn't matter. Come out and play teams. 
have fun, see what it's all about. Hope I see you there. And ATC is going to be just like it always was. Um, Gateway Open. Uh, that, that Douglas and his team was there for ATC. So we're excited about him having his event in St. Louis. Um, I'm Hopefully we can get a team from our area to go up there. Uh, but definitely check out that. That's just the kind of the first few that are on the calendar. Definitely more. Go check out the nationaltabletopleague.com. Check out the event page. See all the different leagues, uh, events that are up on the calendar, what's coming up in your area. Sign up for an event. Again, the calendar is going to be long all the way through next year. So you have lots of time to kind of find an event, plan, get, get some folks, get eight players together, come compete in an event. We're going to put out some more videos so you can kind of see what Teams is all about the excitement that we have, pairings, all the practice that we do, some prep that we're going to have for April. Um, we're going to that April event. So definitely tune in some more videos. Go attend an event. Shout out in the comments if you had any, uh, any great moments at ATC or if you're looking forward to the next ones or what events you're planning on attending. So maybe we can see we can see you there. All those fun things. Hit that like, subscribe, and share with your friends. Um, this is Thomas Bird, Pro Tabletop. I hope you're excited as I am. And uh, yeah, I'll let you guys go. And hopefully we'll see you in the next one.